Hello Capricorn. Happy December 2019. This is your reading. So let's get some information out before we get started. December 11th is the full moon in Gemini and December 25th is a solar eclipse, a new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn in your sign. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So it's in your sign. And so you can definitely take advantage of that on my other channel. I'll be doing a meditation for that. I also have a podcast um, more directed to meditation and life coaching. So, um, yeah. So, but if you do need a reading, definitely contact me. I'm here for that. <laughs> so hopefully this, this um, reading will resonate with you. If it doesn't, then a personal reading is best. Um, you can also look at the moon sign, your moon sign video, um, your north node or your rising sign. So you would have to know your chart to know what sign is your moon sign, north node or rising sign. If your birth sign, which is your sun sign, does not uh, resonate with you in this reading, but setting out the best intention that it does. All right. Capricorn. What do Capricorn need to know for this December reading. What's the message for December? Ah, December. Okay. So it seems that the major twist or turn is whatever your destiny is. Okay. Having a huge turning point for you in December so that when you start this calendar new year, that your personal vision for yourself is clear the type of actions you're going to take this year is clear for you. Um, it's really making a big change and working with your life purpose or your life destiny to just, you know, this next chapter of your life or this next, you know, time in your life. Right. So they say every seven years is like a big change in a person's life. Right. So spiritually. Okay. So, it's about you finding out what works best for you, what is good for you, okay? Um, and really um, doubling down, focusing on your strength so that you can make a living from it, you can be recognized for it, like we all have something that we like, okay? Or that you feel joy from, it's your passion. And then if you, if, um, if, if that's what you feel that you are drawn to do, if you can make it your work, great. If you, if it's not your work, that's fine too. Your passion doesn't have to be your work. It could be two separate things. Um, and the most important thing is your stability because you're dealing with, with, with the earth element, which is all the elements in one. So it's really about you finding what works best for you and know that there might be jealousy and betrayal. Okay and the, the the feel of um doing more than you should okay the stress of really trying to please others is not going to be good but you you have a real love card in here about real love commitment <clears throat> could represent marriage <coughs> excuse me could represent marriage um a strong love and commitment and you have the wheel of fortune reversed so it's it's even though you have love in your life okay whether it's um that self-love or relationship love or marriage or that real um person you can depend on it's about you finding direction for yourself at the end of the month and it's like it's like a little bit of ups and downs for the four weeks in the month um really looking towards the end of the month to, with this new moon to really turn things around. But where friendship is, you'll have friendship, but maybe you'll be changing out your friendship. And then now you're in the, you've pretty much outed yourself. So you're like not a part of that anymore. And you're going in to really seek um, and listen to your own voice and really believe in yourself. Okay, find balance within yourself. And um, <clears throat> the choices that you're going to make is very important. And um, just being committed to yourself, okay? And you're moving into um, letting go, letting go, letting go, okay? Cutting things. I like to think of like cord cutting, you know, just like spiritually cutting yourself off from 
things that don't work, but you'll always always know the, the real ones around you, the people that really care about you because you do have that and don't push that away. You know, um, don't push that away by your frustration. Okay. And really use this new moon to better yourself. Okay. Emotionally, physically, anything that you need is a new moon. So you make the rules for you. Okay. So, um, ask a question, pause the video. If you don't know what question you want to ask, or as always, you know, what do I need to know? So you have ace, okay? Ace of spades. So it's a masculine energy. It's dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius. It's about your third eye, your intuition. It's the sword, okay? It's your thoughts, um, being observant and working through your challenges. It's time for significant change, okay? Um, one, one thing ends in order to make room for the new so you're really making way for the new for yourself in the new year very true very powerful okay so just think it's the new moon it's your new moon so what are you, what do you need to do that's a special um reading for you i think i'm gonna note that you know you know it's a special message for you okay if that's pretty powerful okay I like that. All right. So let's see what. The adjective right is usually. Okay. I don't know why really she just came Proper. on. Alexa, yeah. stop. I have no idea. I did not even say that. That just popped on. That is so weird. I don't even know what word that was. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Anyway, that was super weird. All right. So let's see. Um, the spirit animal <laughs> that's so funny okay so see <laughs> see what the spirit animal um has to say okay what message that was hilarious okay squirrel okay um <clears throat> preparation squirrel get ready for big changes so big changes coming in your life capricorn big changes so be ready for those big changes um definitely use the new moon coming up um, and then when I see the squirrels, I think about harvesting because in the winter time, and when I used to live in the mountains, um, in the country, the squirrels, you know, they, they're always getting the acorn, always getting their fruits, you know, stuffing up their supplies. So really make sure that you are set for this winter, um, you know, realistically survival, but also spiritually and really take advantage of December 25th new moon solar eclipse in your sign of Capricorn. Okay, take full advantage also of the full moon in Gemini. Do you have Gemini in your chart? Where in your chart do you have Gemini? What can you learn from Gemini? Okay, and, and incorporate that as well. Get ready for big changes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please click like and, um, and please uh, set your notification um, I would like to go live on this channel more and to have more personal interaction with you guys and help support this channel. I will see you guys next time. Peace.